I saw in Auschwitz that if a dominant group wants to dehumanize others, so as the Nazis wanted to dehumanize me, this dominant group must, must first be dehumanized in, in a way themselves by diminishing their empathy due to, to propaganda and, and indoctrination in order to be able to be as cruel as some were. Okay? But the same holds, holds nowadays for, for Israel. I am appalled about how hateful, how dehumanized, that they do not see any human aspect in any Palestinian anymore. It's terrible. The Zionists have not any right whatsoever to use the Holocaust for any purpose. They have given up everything which has to do with humanity, with, with empathy for one thing, the state, the blood and soil, just like the Nazis. Uh, uh, I was educated, in the, I mean, I, or I learned at school about blood and soil, and that's exactly their, their idea too. And, and, and human, humans, humans do not play a role. Judaism, as I learned it, is highly, highly ethical. And so you cannot connect Zionism with highly ethical. You can only connect the words aggressive, uh, oppressive, uh, stealing, robbing with, 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 with Zionism, but not highly ethical. Zionism and Judaism are contrary to each other because Judaism is universal and humane and Zionism is exactly the opposite. It is very narrow, very nationalistic, racist, uh, colonialist, and all this. There, there is no, there is no uh, national Judaism. There is Zionism and there is Judaism and they are completely different.